Big Birthday, written by Kate Hosford, illustrations by Holly Clifton Brown. Annabelle was tired of birthdays at the zoo. She yawned at the monkeys and the baby kangaroo. This zoo, she announced, is really quite a bore. I've been coming here for birthdays since I was four. My birthday is soon. It's practically here. I think I'll have my party on the moon this year. Oh, please, Dad, please. It would be so cool. I don't know, Dad said. We'd need a lot of fuel. We could find a magician with a rabbit in his hat. A magician with a rabbit? Lots of parties have that. Your friends could make a pizza, then decorate the cake. A plain old pizza party? Dad, give me a break. I'll just build a spaceship. How hard can it be? I'll fly all my friends to the moon with me. She built a mighty rocket ship, strong and airtight. Then she painted on the outside in lavender and white. She made a shiny engine from parts that she found. But her rocket wouldn't even rise an inch from the ground. My rocket isn't working. This is really bad. Please, do you think you could help me, Dad? Once we get to the moon, it will be so exciting. Very well, Dad replied. Tell your friends, start inviting. They hired out an astronaut, experienced and smart, who rented them a rocket ship guaranteed to start. Three, two, one, blast off. They shot into space with gravity pulling on everyone's face. They seemed to grow lighter as they flew out of sight. The kids flipped and floated and played games all night. But two days of travel were more than enough. We're tired, said the children, and these games are too tough. Even mom and dad were starting to despair. Look, exclaimed Annabelle, we're almost there. They burst from the rocket ship and bounced on the moon. Friends, said Annabelle, the party's starting soon. Mom started muttering, something's not right. I can't seem to get these candles to light. We'll just sing happy birthday and then cut the cake. Mom, whispered Annabelle, we've made a big mistake. The guests are getting hungry. They could really use a treat. But if we're wearing helmets, it's impossible to eat. Don't worry, Dad said. Cake and ice cream can wait. Now get out there and dance. Go celebrate. Everybody boogied in a cloud of moon dust. Now the food's all dirty, said the children in disgust. I'll never get a piece of cake with ice cream on top. When is the party over? I think it's time to stop. Annabelle panicked but recovered with a smile. Get the presents, she directed. We can stack them in a pile. It's gorgeous, said her mother, and it's perfect for you. But when she tried to slip it on, she ripped it right in two. Everyone stared at the dress that she tore. Then Annabelle just couldn't take it anymore. My birthday, she cried, has become a big mess. I'm not having any fun and neither are my guests. My party's a disaster. 
I just can't stand it. I want to go home to my own cozy planet. They bounced into the rocket ship and sped by the stars. The children looked for Mercury, Jupiter, and Mars. Next year, said Annabelle, I know what I'll do. Something really special, something brand new. So, on her next birthday, her friends took a trip on Annabelle's very own purple pirate ship.